Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Mikey and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the most effective, most productive, most efficient Mac apps that I think everybody should download. Now, these apps are super useful. I probably use them over 50 times a day and actually one of these apps I use over 40 times a day that you guys will see later on in the video. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Mikey and I'm an undergraduate student here in Canada and here in Canada, we make maple syrup from scratch. Now, if you enjoy that joke, feel free to subscribe down below because it helps me out a lot and you may as well subscribe anyways and also like the video because it does help me out so much or like it anyways because it's free now i made a previous video talking about the most effective and most useful apps on the ipad that you guys can actually also check out right here i would recommend watching it you know you don't need to watch it for this video but i would recommend it watching it in general but anyways let's get started with the video and let's get started with actually our first app which is spectacle now the first app we're going to talk about is Spectacle. Now Spectacle is essentially an app that helps you resize your windows. Now Apple already gives you this option where you could have two windows side by side, but that's basically the limit that they give you. And sometimes you want to have a bigger window, you know, one window, you want to have it bigger than the other. So Spectacle gives you that option. You essentially create your own keyboard shortcuts that allows you to resize it all over your screen. So let's say I want the left half. How it works is you do option command. Then you could do left. I could do right. I could do up, down. I could also do center. I could do full screen. You know, I could basically play all around with it you know i can do up and down you know play around do basically everything i want and i think i use this easily like i don't know i'd probably say like 30 times a day it's very useful anytime i create a window i always use it because i usually have things side by side or sometimes i have like quadrants oh my gosh it just gets it just gets crazy now there's also another app that does this it's called moom so you could either basically down spectacle or download moom both of them are very good options now the next app we're gonna talk about is Alfred. Now Alfred is essentially Spotlight, but like on steroids. It's your virtual assistant in the computer that will do anything you tell it. So let's say, let's say for example, I wanted to open YouTube and I wanted to search my channel, Mikey Italy, because I know you obviously all wanna subscribe and you know, I won't stop you guys. So basically what I do is I do shift shift, Alfred opens and I do, well, you know, we'll do YouTube. So I'll press Y, already shows me YouTube. And I'm gonna do Mikey Atala. What this is gonna do is gonna open YouTube and not only that, it's gonna search Mikey Atala in YouTube. If I didn't have Alfred, I would've had to open the YouTube tab, then type my name in, then press enter. But with Alfred, it makes it so much quicker. Now, Alfred has other cool features too, where I could basically search anything in my computer. You know, usually you have to go on Finder, then you have to go to the specific document, then you have to open it. Like, it takes you a while to find it. Maybe it takes you like a minute or a minute and a half to find a specific document. But let's say, you know, I had a paper that was due um, next, I have, I have a paper due next week. It's called Kin 446 Paper. So so I'm gonna basically open Alfred. I'm gonna do kin 446. Oh, what do you know? It's already here and now I can already open it. Alfred also has other cool features where it allows you to basically make your own shortcuts. So I have Alfred set up. Anytime I do option N, it's gonna open a new Safari window. So let's say I do option N. Oh, new Safari window, option N. Oh, another new Safari window, option N. Another new Safari window. So I also created a cool shortcut in Alfred where essentially sometimes I wanna copy text and I want to open a new tab and I want to paste that test then I want to press enter so copy that's one so that's one button I have to press open a new tab paste it press enter that's four buttons now with Alfred I set up where if I ever do command G it's gonna do all those things already for me so let's say I do I don't know latest from Mikey Attack. let's say I want to put that in a new tab I do command G you'll see copy paste enter and it searches everything up for me so literally just right there i probably saved like three seconds and i use this a lot when i'm researching for a paper or an assignment i use this so much and this helps me save so much time now if i actually open alfred you can see how many times i use it a day so you can see that i average around 50.6 times per day and i've used it in my entire lifetime 17,459 times so you can see like alfred is literally a game changer and i think there was like one day where i used it like see this one day i use it 160 times like just think about it this saves you so much time and i would recommend you all I'll download it. Now the next app we're gonna talk about is Mac Updater. And this is actually a really cool app because it updates all the apps you already have on your computer without you having to go and try to find the file online and updating it yourself. You can have one app that updates everything for you. So you can see like, oh, I wanna update this one. Okay, it'll update it for me. I can update, update. I don't really need to go online and then update the file. It does it all for me. Finds the files online, brings them here, updates the app for me, and then it basically finishes. So I would recommend you all download that. It just saves a lot of time. It saves the hassle of going online and then your app is outdated and then you know, just searching everything up causes a lot of friction. By using this app, a lot of friction is literally just reduced. Now, the next app we're going to talk about is an app called Numi. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but this app is essentially, it understands native human language and it'll convert any units for you. It's kind of like Alfred, but think of it for like numbers. So let's say I'm like, okay, time in Toronto, Toronto, 8, 16 PM. Well, yeah, that's true. It is 8, 16 PM. Let's say I'm like, okay, time in Vegas. 5 16 p.m. 
let's say I'm like, okay, so since I'm in Canada and I want to convert like centimeters to inches, I'll be like 116 centimeters to inches. Oh, that's 45.67. That's sick. Or you could also do calculators. If I do nine plus nine, equals 18, six. Anything I have to do with numbers, just I would recommend using Numi. Now the next app we're gonna talk about is an app called Todoist, and that helps you create a to-do list. Yeah, it's a, like it plays with your words a lot. Basically this app is just like reminders, like the Apple Reminders app, but really, really organized. Helps you create your own labels. So you can see over here, I have my own labels for things that I'm doing, um, inbox, today, upcoming, and it also understands native language just like Numi. So if I'm like, oh, take out the trash, tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. Now I could also literally just say, take out trash every Sunday at 8 p.m. Sick, so every Sunday, sorry, I spelled that wrong. But basically now it's gonna create a recurring task for every Sunday, I have to take out the trash. And you could also create multiple reminders for it. So if I come over here to reminders, you could have today at 2 p.m. Um, you could basically have like six of them. So let's say I'm like uh, today at 4 p.m. today at 6 p.m. Like you can have a bunch of reminders and I, that's why I like it a lot as well. There's just a lot of cool features that are really nice with it. And yeah, that's basically why I like it. Now the next app I'm gonna talk about is Amphetamine. Now this app is essentially an app that prevents your computer from going to sleep, but it's very smart in the sense where it could prevent your computer going to sleep until a fire, fire, until a file is done transferring or until um, a, a specific time. It could do a bunch of things. It's just really, really smart. Um, basically how it works is you come up here, it'll be in your dashboard, I guess, and you're gonna come and click. Now you can do indefinitely, forever, specific minutes while an app is running. So if a specific app is running until it's done, you could do that uh, while file is downloading. So that's like I said, if you're transferring a file and you know you're going out, but it's taking, I don't know, three hours, then you could turn this on and it'll, your computer will turn off after that one's done. And yeah, it's just a really smart app that prevents your computer from going to sleep. Now the next app we're gonna talk about is App Cleaner. Now App Cleaner is essentially an app that cleans other apps. So if you have an app on your computer that you want to get rid of, but there's usually other files on your computer that are related to the app. So for example, like let's say I wanted to delete, I don't know, uh, Todoist. And if I wanted to delete that, sometimes Todoist will save specifically, you know, code into the computer that I want to also get rid of. So all I really have to do is drag that app into App Cleaner and App Cleaner will find all those files and it will get rid of them for you. So you don't need to worry about that hassle. It's a very simple app, but it does the job very, very well. Now, another cool app that I use a lot when it comes to school is Accelerate. Now, Accelerate is essentially an extension that works for Safari and it helps speed up your videos. If I launch Accelerate right now, um, let's go to Accelerate. Essentially how it works is you create your own keyboard shortcuts. So these are my shortcuts that'll help me speed up videos into a specific um, time speed. So for example, I know that if I press P, it'll take it to two times speed. And if I press uh, D, it'll bring it back to one, one time speed. If I do quotation mark, it'll increase it by increments of 0.1. And same thing, if I do semicolon, it'll do the same thing backwards. X will skip part of the video. Z will bring it back. It's just a really good extension. Very, very solid. Now the next app I'm gonna talk about is Notion. Notion is essentially this online organizational tool that combines calendars, to-do lists, um, note-taking, combines basically everything into one very well organized and very well created app. Now I do talk about Notion a lot in two of my previous videos. One of them I talk about how you can go from being a beginner to becoming a pro user that you could check out above right here. But basically here's an example of me using it for school. I know that upcoming on Monday, which is tomorrow, I have two lecture, I have a lecture and a quiz. I already finished these lectures because they were posted early and this is basically all I have for the rest of the week because I finished it all. And if I come over here to this section, I know that upcoming assessments, these are all the upcoming assessments that I have. And I organized all of this into the way that I thought would be the most helpful for me. If you wanna use this template and start using it for your school, I do have a video actually talking about how I use this template and how you guys can also start using it as well. Linked above right here, so you guys should definitely check it out. Now the final app I'm gonna discuss is NordVPN. Now you guys definitely already know what VPNs are. It stands for Virtual Private Network. And this essentially means that anybody that's trying to hack a network like a public Wi-Fi, for example, if you study at coffee shops or in a library or any public Wi-Fi at all, um, they can't really get your information because you have a VPN. This essentially blocks them from taking your information. Now this is one use of VPNs that is honestly like by itself is worth it to get the VPN. But there's also another use that you can actually change your country and that'll help you access different 
different movies and different TV shows on Netflix, Disney Plus. So that's why I would recommend getting NordVPN or any VPN at all. Now that comes to the end of our video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that some of these apps you guys will actually start using because that's how I learned about most of these apps from YouTube videos like these. Please subscribe down below and like this video if you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, please feel free to subscribe and like anyways because it's free and you may as well, just like I said throughout the whole video. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Cheers.